Hey all, hope you're having a beautiful day. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Caleb and I'm a composer. I recently wanted to try to toy around with sampling tape loops for an upcoming film I'm scoring. After hours of research to find the perfect tape player that also had speed control, I ended up purchasing the Panasonic RR830 for about 60 bucks on eBay. Um, you'll see the, uh, uh, the tape speed function right there and then this has the VSC level uh, variable speech control and that's kind of like, um, if you're familiar with digital audio workstations, you can change the uh, format of your voice in order to, if you're pitching it up or pitching it down, um, you can make it sound more natural. So that's essentially what the VSC does when you slow it or, or speed it up. So anyway, just not to, uh, to not lead you down a long rabbit hole, um, if all of this is not applicable to you, this video will be discussing how I work around the auto stop function on the Panasonic RR830. Um, so after a couple crude first attempts at trying to create a tape loop, uh, I finally succeeded with this guy. You'll see that it has the, the signature triangle shape uh, like the other four to five second loops uh, you've seen. The problem is when I tried this for the first time in the Panasonic, uh, it would play once, maybe twice through uh, the loop and then stop. And obviously that isn't super helpful when you're trying to tape loop. Uh, so I found a few blogs and videos about people's various workarounds and most of them dealt with altering the way in which the belts uh, are connected within the unit um, or taking the auto stop sensor out altogether. I tried a couple different methods of rebanding the unit, one of which are I will insert pictures or a short video of here, but I didn't want to stick with those methods because they require me to keep the face of the tape player off. After monkeying around with the cassettes themselves, I finally found what I believe to be uh, a perfect solution for the problem of tape looping in the Panasonic RR830. The issue at hand is that the left tape reel must be constantly turning in order for the auto stop to not kick in. So our solution is including that left reel. I discovered that if I wrapped both reels in blue painter's tape, you can see that uh, up close there. Uh, both of them in blue, blue painter's tape for about four to five times and placed a size 32 rubber band around both reels. It would provide it enough friction that the reels would catch the rubber band and the rubber band would turn the tape. In all my testing thus far, I have not had the cassette tape stop on me, thus triggering the auto stop. Uh, now you can get a box of size 32 rubber bands on Amazon, uh, like 400 of them for like five bucks. So it's, I mean, it's super cheap. Uh, it's a really cheap and easy workaround. So I thought I'd, I'd just pseudo walk you through this quickly to show you the basic steps. So let me grab just a blank tape here, uh, brand new, now with a uh, Phillips head one, a PH1 size uh, Phillips head. Uh, I mean, some of these are pretty tricky and I'll probably speed this up. Okay, so we have our screws out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the face plate off the cassette. Uh, don't need that so I can remove this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my rubber bands. Um, let me just take this guy out, these guys, and I'll push that through. Now, of course, I don't have scissors with me, so I'm just gonna rip this off. Why would you have scissors when you need them for a video? Who knows, who knows? All right, so I'll, I'll seat these uh, back in there. Again, I, I won't do this now, but uh, wrap these guys uh, with four to five go rounds of blue painter's tape. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I was super sloppy with how I did it um, and kind of just bent it in and folded it in on itself. It is, It doesn't look pretty by any means and it does not impede the movement of that reel. And I will, I'll play it so you can, uh, so you can just hear, the, and hear and see that it's working for sure. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. Okay, uh, so I'll hold that guy there and then loop that guy around. Oh yeah, that's a perfect fit uh, without stretching it out as you can see. And if you can see the side profile, uh, it's really hard, but it's very, I mean, it's like the perfect fit for that reel. So that's what you want, size 32 rubber bands. Let me just show you how this guy plays. Turn that guy on. There's the guy that I made earlier. And I think these are just numbers that I recorded that I was just playing around with. Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
And um, just if you are unaware of the issue with the, the kind of triangle shaped tape loop, I'll play that just so you can see. Yeah, so you can see uh, that it auto stopped. That was what, two, two or three times through. So that was actually pretty good. But uh, so anyway, um, that is my solution to how you get around the auto stop function of the Panasonic RR830. So brilliant machine, super excited to have it, super excited about this workaround. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, hope you have a great day.